Guns. Did you think that was me? Today is all about American Express and I'm gonna show you how to get started. Did you know you don't need to acquire American Express credit cards with high annual fees to get into the American Express ecosystem? Those new to credit often think that American Express cards are reserved for folks with high income. That is surely not the case and I'll explain why. Because I've held lots of American Express cards over the years ranging from $0 annual fees to ones with $695 annual fees. Most of you know about the American Express Gold Card and the American Express Platinum Card. But have you heard of the $0 annual fee cards like the Blue Cash Everyday or the Amex Everyday Credit Card? The Amex Gold and Platinum Cards have hefty annual fees. So if you're new to credit, I suggest that you target those cards much later in your credit card journey. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Amex Starter Cards for earning cashback and earning membership reward points to take you down the road for future aspirational travel. For those new to the channel, I'm Richard Debs from r -Squared Travel Rewards and I'm an avid traveler. If you're watching this, you likely are too, so go ahead and subscribe to see how I use credit cards to enable this travel habit of mine. Today, I'm recording this video from a luxury lodge just outside the Nairobi National Park in the beautiful country of Kenya. I'm using mostly points and miles to enable this current three and a half month overseas trip, which has taken me from Kenya to South Africa, to Mauritius, to Madagascar, and now back to Kenya. Most of the points that I've amassed prior to embarking on this trip are American Express MR points, so let me tell you how to get started, but I'm gonna do that at Kwetu Nairobi, Nairobi's newest and hottest Hilton Hotel. As promised, we're here at Kwetu Nairobi, part of the Curio Collection by Hilton. Stick around to the end of this video where I'll show you just how outstanding this property is. The American Express starter cards, my term, are grouped into two categories. Category one, cashback cards, which are blue cash everyday, blue cash preferred, and the cash magnet. Category two are membership reward cards or cards that earn points. And they are the Amex everyday and the Amex everyday preferred. Now let's break down the cards, starting with the cashback cards. The Blue Cash Everyday has a $0 annual fee. It earns 3% cashback at US supermarkets, online retails, and gas stations, and 1% cashback on all other purchases. Please note that the 3% cashback categories are capped at $6,000 per year. With American Express, cashback is redeemed in the form of statement credits. There are a couple other benefits which I want to call out for the Blue Cash Everyday card. There's an $84 annual Disney Bundle statement credit, which is earned at a rate of $7 a month when you purchase a $9.99 Disney Bundle. I think this is a very good starter card for those in college or those just out of college. The overall multipliers are great, and this Disney bundle is one which many folks can take advantage of. There's also a $180 Home Chef benefit earned at a rate of $15 a month in the form of statement credits. My sense is that if you're into meal delivery services, you likely own other credit cards, and you might not be interested in this card, which caps the multipliers at $6,000 per year. There's an intro bonus here where you earn $200 in statement credits after spending $2,000 in the first six months. Now let's talk about the cash magnet also at a $0 annual fee. This is a very easy card which earns 1.5% cash back on all purchases and there are no caps. There's also an active intro bonus on this card where you earn $200 in statement credits after spending $2,000 in the first six months. This is a no frills 1.5% cashback card similar to the Capital One Quicksilver. And the final cashback card is the Blue Cash Preferred. It has a $95 annual fee, but it's waived in the first year. Amex looks out for you. Now here are its awesome cashback multipliers. Earn 6% cashback at US supermarkets and US streaming subscriptions. The supermarket category is capped at 6,000 a year, but the streaming category is unlimited. 
then earn 3% cash back on transit purchases and US gas stations, then earn 1% cash back on all other purchases. Again, cash back is received in the form of reward dollars, which you can redeem as statement credits. I don't think anyone would argue that these multipliers aren't impressive. There's also an intro bonus where you'll earn $250 in statement credits after spending $3,000 in the first six months. I consider this card to be a no-brainer for folks who just love earning cash back on everyday categories. The fact that the annual fee is waived in the first year, coupled with a $250 sign-up bonus, I see no reason not to keep this card for three years as it pays for itself. After three years, a cardholder should have tons of data points to determine if they should keep this card going into year four or downgrade to the $0 regular blue cash everyday card. Now, category two, let's get into the cards which earn membership reward points or MR points. First up is the American Express Everyday Card, which has a $0 annual fee. It earns two points per dollar at US supermarkets up to $6,000 a year two points per dollar on travel bookings made through the Amex travel portal, and one point per dollar on all other purchases. Earn 20% extra points when you use your card 20 times or more in a statement period. What I find interesting about the $0 annual fee card is that it gives you access to all of Amex's transfer partners, like Air France, Delta, British Airways, Virgin, Hilton, and Marriott, just to name a few. I don't consider these points multipliers to be great especially when compared to the Capital One Saver 1. But having full access to Amex's travel partners is extremely impressive. There's an intro bonus where you can earn 10,000 MR points after spending $2,000 in the first six months. Now, the final card in this lineup is the American Express Everyday Preferred card, which has a $95 annual fee. It earns three points per dollar at US supermarkets, which caps at $6,000 a year. Two points per dollar at US gas stations, two points per dollar on travel booked through the travel portal, and one point per dollar on all other purchases. So if you consider 20 swipes and a billing period on the Amex Everyday card as challenging, check out this perk on the Everyday Preferred version. It offers 50% extra points when you use your card 30 times or more in a billing cycle. So get to swiping. 30 swipes might seem like a lot, but it's very doable if you're like me and you don't use cash for anything. If this is your only credit card and you're a city slicker like me, you'd be surprised how many times you end up swiping your card in a billing cycle. Maybe some months you're at 60 swipes and others you're not. But if you do, then you're looking at 4.5 points per dollar on groceries, 3 points per dollar on gas, 3 points per dollar on travel via the Amex travel portal, and 1.5 points per dollar on all other purchases. If you can hit this threshold, then this becomes a pretty solid everyday card for earning MR points. There's an intro bonus where you earn 15,000 MR points after spending $2,000 in the first six months. As much as I love MR points, I'm not in love with the $95 annual fee, but having access to Amex's transfer partners is definitely valuable. I recommend reevaluating the card after year two as the signup bonus is worth, conservatively, $150. If the value isn't there for you and you're not able to hit the 30 swipes for greater value multipliers, then there wouldn't be harm in downgrading to the $0 annual fee Amex Everyday card. There is another noteworthy benefit though. There's a $300 return protection for any item which the seller refuses to take back. This protection lasts up to 90 days from the purchase date. So if you have an item which you thought you were gonna use, but you missed the typical 30-day return window, you would still have another 60 days to return the item if you purchased it with this American Express Everyday Preferred card. In summary, American Express offers great starter options for cashback in the form of statement credits, as well as great options for earning MR points for that travel-focused individual. For those who've been watching this channel, you know that I'm partial to travel. If you want to get your travel game on and get into the Amex ecosystem without spending a ton on travel cards, the Amex Everyday and the Everyday Preferred cards are a great way to get your feet wet. Please note that all these cards incur foreign transaction fees, so you're not allowed to take them abroad with you. That's my rule.
No fees. No kicks. I'd be interested in learning about how you got started with your American Express journey. Did you jump into the Amex green gold platinum setup? If you're new to credit and you're curious about American Express cards, this is a cost effective way to begin that journey. Let me know what you think about these cards in the comments and especially if you've been able to hit the 20 or 30 swipes per billing cycle. Thank you for watching until the end. Since you've gotten this far, it only makes sense to like, share and subscribe to help bring this channel some visibility. As always, take care and be good to each other. The Curio Collection is a unique collection of hotels handpicked for their unique design, outstanding food and beverage service, topped off by an incredible team, which all lend itself to a first-rate hotel experience. I was absolutely blown away by this hotel.